now, here's meteorologist Michelle Muscatello with your live Pinpoint Doppler 12 Futurecast. So, Michelle, seeing that video of the hail in New York made me sort of think of the snow on the cars coming up. Oh, my gosh. Don't go there. But Don't make that connection. All right. I'll stop. It's a nice fall day. Let's just okay. let's right. just enjoy what we have where we just are right now. Thinking about it though makes me. Ooh. I know. Me too. <laughs> All right. You know, luckily though, we don't have any of that in store for us. In fact, it's a nice afternoon to take a walk along Narragansett Beach here. From our live camera, you can see the mostly clear skies, the light winds, no big surf out there today. Dry skies over live pinpoint Doppler 12 radar. And now that the skies have cleared for most areas, temperatures are, you know, not bad. Certainly cooler than yesterday. At this point yesterday, we were close to 70, 71. Well, right now we're about 10 degrees cooler in East Bay Manor, East Providence, 59 in Coventry, 60 Bank Newport, and 59 at Sakana Bay Manor in Tiverton. And our weather spotters are all reporting. Upper 50s to lower 60s right now as well. Robert and Fall River says partly sunny and dry. Armand and Kim and Pawtucket 59 and Jim in North Smithfield warm sun and comfortable. He says even though it's a little cooler at 57 degrees. So this system has been racing past us. While it did bring some severe thunderstorms to parts of New York City. It really fizzled by the time those storms reached us. Most of them dove off to the south, and we just had some scattered showers overnight. Now it'll continue to move further away, and we're going to see high pressure build in, and that's going to leave us with dry skies for the next by 36 to 48 hours. Pleasant and dry on the way for the bus stop this afternoon. Temperatures 60 to 65. Let's take you through your future cast here as we go into the afternoon hours. We're looking at dry skies at 1130 tonight heading off to bed. Uh, mostly clear conditions. By the time you get up tomorrow morning, start that early morning commute. Mostly sunny skies and it does stick around into the afternoon hours. So a nice bright day on Wednesday, though temperatures will still be running slightly below average. Here's what I'm looking at for today. We'll climb up another couple of degrees into the lower 60s for most areas. North Providence, Central Falls included. A few spots may make it to 64 in Cranston. Uh, Garden City at 63. TF Green a high today of about 63 or 64. Barrington at about 62. Along the coast, your highs in the low 60s, cool, dry, partly cloudy. Inland areas, not bad for the second half of the day. A mix of sun and clouds in Japatchet at 61, when socket coming in at around 62. Uh, Bridgewater and Attleboro both in the low 60s. You've had some more trouble over here completely clearing out the clouds, but that trend will continue and even all the way out to the Cape as the afternoon goes on. Little Compton at 63, Portsmouth at about 62. So, nice day to do a little boating. Waves one foot or less. Visibility is unrestricted. Got a high tide at, uh, well, happened just a few minutes ago, noon, and a low tide at 538. Much cooler tonight. Temperatures down upper 30s to mid 40s. And we are going to be right there again coming up tomorrow night, too. So, a chilly couple of nights. Maybe even cold enough to turn the heat on for a few hours. How about this little guy here? That is uh, Hurricane Paula. It's a Category 1 storm, 75 mile an hour sustained winds. This is a nice path for Florida right now. It stays out of the way. We'll continue to watch it for the Gulf of Mexico. But as of right now, that storm system is expected to take a sharp turn to the east and stay in the Caribbean. Seven day future cast for you. We've got uh, temperatures around 61 at three, uh, 61 for your Wednesday, Thursday in the low 60s. And we'll have to watch Thursday into Friday. There's the potential for a pretty potent storm system here. Could bring rain and wind. Some of that rain may be heavy at times. The wind's gusty out of the northeast. So a raw, stormy day right now in the forecast for Friday. And it should slowly clear out as we head through Saturday and looking even brighter for Sunday. Your updated forecast 24 7 on the Pinpoint Weather Station. All right.